Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to carry on with pneumatic graph repressurized and hopefully manage to get to making some plastic. First of all let's have a look at the refinery. Now the refinery was working it's just unfortunate there was a gooey bug that wasn't showing the liquids in there but the liquids were in the tank so let's have a quick look at that. So here you are as you can see this has got actually it's not working though because it's not got enough temperature. So let's turn on the compressors to make the temperature and have a look here. I've got quite a lot because I've put behind this some um, liquid hoppers and into some, some into some small fluid tanks. The small fluid tanks actually hold 32 buckets, which is not actually quite a decent size as it happens. And these hold 16 buckets. So by the time we get any fluid in here, we've got to have 48 plus buckets. So these things are going to now bring up a temperature in here should bring it up reasonably quickly and I'll see in a few seconds when we've actually got to the required temperature. So here you are and you can just see the fluid coming in out, uh, into here and then going out again. So the temperature is 99 degrees so I've got three compressors working on this. So three compressors will uh, slowly bring up the pressure. I think they may be slightly increasing. Let's have a look. Yeah, the volume's going up, so the pressure's still increasing a little bit. That's good. So the temperature in here will, in fact, go over 100, but it'll take a while to get there. Because it's got to also pressurise all the, the other things in here, so it's got to pressurise this. Um, <clears throat> and, the, and the charging station. In fact, the charging station, thinking about it, having left that in there, it will have used the air in the, in the pneumatic wrench, which was a very sensible thing to do, really. But it will slowly push some air into here. But I'll take this out for the time being, help it along a bit. So we can then start to use this. Now before I do that, I'm really a bit tight on space around here, as you can see. Uh, so what I've done is I've made some more space. So over here, I've been excavating this area out. And I've actually been using turtles. Turtles and I've also been using the exchanging gadget. And I'll show you how the exchanging gadget works, what I've been doing with the exchanging gadget. And I'll also show you what I'm doing with the, the turtle to do this. Now there's a program called Flat Terrain. Unfortunately, Flat Terrain wasn't working completely correctly. It wasn't returning to the position when it had to empty it out its inventory. So I fixed that. And I'll show you how it works now. It always goes from right to left. So let's just put the turtle down here. Got a turtle in my hand here. Let's move that out of the way. It's called Fellow One. It's an advanced turtle, and it's probably got it's got a crafting station on it. So what we'll do is we'll quickly measure the area here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blocks. We'll do thirteen for luck. So we'll set flat terrain, and I'm going to specify thirteen blocks and in the X, so basically to the right. I'm going to specify one block back and I'm actually going to check for one block row of air above it. So that will carry on that. It's going to, going to dig along here and it's going to carry on digging all the way down to here and then when it's finished that it'll go up to the next row and then basically produce that. So what we get here, end of this time, we end up with stuff like this. So what I want to do is I want to then change this out and I want to put in it um, dirt instead of being with the exchanging gadget. So for example, if I want to select it, just right shift right click it like this, and that selects it. So here, for example, there's two bits here like that. You can you can do it quite fast. It doesn't take very long to do this at all. So you just go along here, go, selecting the blocks you want to do like this, and this just turns it to dirt. Now what happens with the items that you've got are actually coming into your hand. In fact, what they'll be ending up with, they'd be ending up in the dank here. So if we have a look at the dank, so I have to change the motor, I have to change it to at least bag. So you can see all the items in here. I wonder if we've got anything we can see that might get changed. Marble, for example. Let's have a look at marble. I need to be careful because it's going to, it's already night time and the mobs do spawn around here. Let's just get rid of this lot. Now we've got marble. The rest of this is marble. So let's have a look in the bag. See how, many, how much marble we've got in here now. Uh, 624. So you can simply go select all of these like that. And then have a look in here. And in the bag again. 
I must have picked something else. It must be this marble, not that marble. So it's 5.8. You're not a very good one because you can't really see it. But it goes in there. It doesn't go into my inventory. There's one more, one more bit here I missed. And of course, this will eventually slowly turn into grass as, as time goes on. And as you can see here, the oh, it's actually dropping. Some stuff's being dropped. Yes, of course, it's being dropped. Because what I didn't do is I didn't put an inventory behind it. I always put a diamond chest behind it. And it should be around about here. Oops, here. There we go. So now it's, this is going. Next time it goes up, you're going to dump stuff into this chest. So that'll carry on. So while that's doing that, what I'm going to be doing next. So what it's going to do is it's going to carry on up here. It's going to dig 13 blocks across. And when it's finished each row, it comes back down to the to the base where it started from, and then it dumps the inventory. It probably doesn't need to do that, but it does it. That's how it behaves. So you'll see it's coming along here now and it's going to put this into here and we should see some stuff so it's picked up nine it's done nine blocks of dirt so now it's going to go and it'll do some more what it's probably going to pick up here is probably some seeds as well because this is the top level maybe not in this case because i don't see any seed type stuff but i have got over here a torch <laughs> Uh, from Torchmaster. Let's have a quick look at the recipe for that because I'm going to build a second one of these while we're thinking about it. I'll let this thing carry on. It's going. I'll do it, do it here and you can just see it working maybe. So let's have a look at Torch. I think it's Tor Torchmaster the model. Here we go. Like that. So it's two diamonds, some logs, and some torches and some blocks of gold. It's actually not too expensive now. This thing is just about to finish. It's going to come down here and it's going to come back over here and, it, and then it's going to replace the empty itself out and then it's going to stop. And it goes up. This is another, it doesn't need to go up here and it goes down again and that's it. Comes back and it's ready for the next row. So the next row I'd put it, it would be here. here. So let's just do that while I'm thinking about it. Put it here. Move the inventory. Everything in the inventory will go straight into my into my um, tank. Thankfully, I can put that on the top there. So this time it's probably not going to be 13 blocks. We'll just cut it down to 12 blocks. And let it get on with it. So while that's doing that, let's go on over here. So what I'm going to use this base for is for doing pneumatic craft pressurized. And it end up with quite a lot of creepers here. So what I'm going to do next, and spiders. You see there's a lot of mobs spawning over here. And the only ones really interested in the witches. Not because I want the witches' hat, hats or anything like that. But you see there's quite a lot of mobs around here. But I would like to quite like to get a witch spawn egg. I can just jump down there and get in it. So what I did is put some glass in here as well, so you can see it's a bit of daylight for a change. So they're being stuck in a dark area. So next thing, I'm going to make the um, I'm going to make up this torch master thing. So we need some blocks of gold. So let's do those first of all. I know I need two, but we can actually just do get rid of those like that. We can make one of these and I needed some was it missing wood? Ah oh, yes of course it doesn't do the all it doesn't do the all matching correctly on this, it's just blocks of wood, three planks and three torches, and I think the torches are in here, they are. So we can specify those three, put those three up there, and then we can specify two blocks, oh, I picked out three. So we get another torch master, mega torch. From Torchmaster, let's take these items out of here and put them back into the right places. I don't need the glass. I was using the glass in the spawn area because the spider spawned in the spawn area, and I was kind of wonder why the spider spawned in the spawn area. So I went to check, and what I discovered, and I'll show you what I discovered. It's just down here. You see, I've actually increased the area here with bushes as well. 
So it'll do a four by four block, and that hopefully will deal with this. this the um, I've got to be careful as well, because last time I came in here, I forgot to put the boots on. And I ended up getting pushed onto the, the player trap. So I pushed them. I put glass on top of each one of these because it was slightly dark. So they did. So mobs could spawn in here. Um, so having put those on, there's nothing can spawn on top of that. At least naturally. I, I don't think it matters too much about the um, the other mobs. So let's just get these boots off again. Put those back into the chest here. So keeping them safe in a good place so that works really well I, I haven't tested with, with blazes recently I should really do that because I increased there was just one in the corner here so I put another three after having done that research with the the attractors weren't working so that was um, why I did that so the next thing I'm going to make the reliquary thing from let's have a look at reliquary There's quite a few pieces with reliquary. And the one I want to do is one of these, not a place charm, I want to do this. Well, I'd like to do a witch charm, of course, but I'd like to first of all do a, uh, where has it gone to? A creeper charm. There we go, this one. So let's, let's get these bits into place. Let's get what we can. So we need that and that. Now, the creeper charm was the last one of these, wasn't it? So we need these, so let's get these into place. So we need six of these. I'll take, I'll take five and then I'll take the ingredients out. I don't want to be spending all the time putting them back in again. Ah, okay. So now, I think I need to cut some bits out of that. So we can make one of these again have enough bits for that and then we can make the, the where's it gone to creeper jump so we now have a creeper jump what this means is it means creepers can't see us now we could put this in this in our slot we can do this with all of those mobs you just saw a minute ago so there's a spider around here somewhere around or other let's get the bow into action Actually, I can test the creeper. Let's just see if it actually. Where's the spider gone to? Let's just jump down here and see if he can see us. See, he can't even see us. Brilliant. How about that? Now, where's that spider gone to? I'm not going to take take a chance to leave him running around. Oh look, over there. Oh, some mobs and over here there's another mob by I can't see it is it oh it's probably spawned underneath in here is it oh yes there's one over there probably can't reach it no oh yeah, don't worry about that one so we'll do the same thing for spiders as well because they're quite handy and what you can do with all of these once you've done this is you can put them into um actually let's let's use an oh, let's use the sword on this creeper because he can't see us at all normally do this of course with creepers <laughs> but we get a reasonable amount of drops for those two actually I just haven't got my boots on either which is good because that even that proves it as well that it's not working so the next thing I'm going to do is they're going to move all of this stuff out of here as you can see these are now these are actually so we're already full let's have a look in here maybe we've got some stuff in here now yes we're just starting to get some gasoline and kerosene in here from that one. and you see the temperature has now gone up 157 which is good so the next thing we need to do maybe I can do it with this is to set up the thermony the plant well you see it takes the, it takes durability when the when the creepers can't see you okay didn't know actually I didn't I think I knew that but I'd forgotten about it so let's have a look at, and I don't want this in my hand either, so let's have a look at um, the th thermonimetic processing plant, and I think that's in this bag here, it is indeed, look. So what we can do with this, we need another vortex to heat things up. 
to heat these things up. So what we could use, of course, we could use one of the ends to cool. I'm just wondering whether we've got enough space. If I put the vortex down here, we can... No, that wouldn't work very well. Um, I think I'll have to remove this one. So let's just quickly remove this. And shift right, click that off there. remove those so now we can add, add the vortex in here so if we put the vortex down let's have a look if I put it too close it, it won't work properly so let's just put it here oh, of course it went the wrong way let's just see if we can turn it around so I want the hot face facing me here good so we can then put the thermal pneumatic processing plant here I'm not sure if this needs air pressure by itself or it just needs heat Oh, let's have a look. There's a recipes, fluids, and yeah, it just needs temperature. Good. Now, does it have any warnings? Let's have a look. Problems. Yes, so it's poorly insulated. So it needs to be covered up again. So what we can do with this is we can take a liquid hopper and plug that onto here. We also want to have a cooling uh, heat sink for this end of it. So let's quickly go and make those. And I'll be back in a second. Oh yes, that's not going to work. I have to do it differently. Let's quickly do that. Turn that round this way, I think. And let's put the this onto this face of it. So I can shift right click that, and that picks it up with the wrench. Uh, a bit easier than trying to break it with it. And then we can put this down here. And so all this needs then is pressure into here. So we can do that without too, too much difficulty. But I should have got the, um, and I forgot to get them, some more blocks to cover this up with so we need to cover this one up so around i think we can cover one with a liquid hopper but for the time being i'll just get those and come back in a second okay i've got these so what we need to do it probably doesn't need pressure as well okay i might have to be a bit tricky with the pressure well, so let's put it down and see i've got some pipes with me pressure pipes i think they're in the bag here let's go and pressure this up see if we're i'm not sure where it connects to how it connects directly to that so we could do this and then it'll connect in so this should also be getting pressure and heat so it's got bar already great so what this will need is it's going to need some coal and it also going to need some lpg so i've got another liquid hopper here uh, uh, and a small fluid tank and this small fluid tank should be empty so we can come along here and take this one off here like this and we can put in its place another small fluid tank to get it filled up as it needs it. Oops, I've, uh, let's go back a bit. can't reach it from here. There we go. So then I can put the small fluid tank near to this. We can put the liquid hopper on top of it. That's one thing we can do. And then in front of this we can put the small fluid tank there we go so now this is going to need covering up so what we should see is we should start to see plastic being made great so i need to cover this up so let's get that done how many s warnings so two sides of six are exposed so we just so do the same thing again just click that into place you can still access it like this and what's it tell us now we've got no problems and you can always open this up it doesn't make any difference you can still access this and it's not telling us any problems so that's fine so this is now got some plastic in here so what we need to do now is we need to cool it down Hi, i don't actually haven't done this with this version of the pack but you see this is now filled up so we need to get this out um and one way to get it out of course is to use another fluid uh hop hopper out of here and basically put it into into another tank um, but for the time being I'm going to use buckets because we need to and then get some the buckets cooled so I'm not quite sure how we do the in-world cooling I'll we'll have to see about that so we need a cooling frame it'll be one of the heat frames for one of these that shouldn't be too difficult to make so we'll go and do that in a second and we need some buckets and then buckets I've got in here 
I see all those creepers around now, didn't I? See, there we go, some fire buckets are in here like this. So let's just come down here and click this. And I should be able to click it with a bucket. Like that. So now I have, let's get two buckets out of here. Let's see how it goes. So the in-world cooling side of things here, let's move this out of the way, put it back over here. So this is nice and cold. Um, so we need a cooling frame and I don't think I can put the bucket down there. So I have to put it into an inventory. That's how it would work, wouldn't it? So let's get a chest and a, make a cooling frame. Now I should be able to make one of these heat frames, no problem, because I think I've got some of these made up like that. Let's take those out of there and put them away back in the game, back in here. I think they're both in there as it happens. So we just need a chest. So let's get a chest out of here like this. And come down and put it into place. So if we put the chest down here, put the bucket into put the two buckets into here like this, and then put the cooling heat frame onto this, you'll see that that's starting to get cold it's gone blue and these will start to sh let's i think these will pour into the world or chill in the inventory ah there you go and it there it's made the first plastic sheet how about that then so it's actually working nicely so you can simply say chill in inventory with a heat frame to solidify the plastic using heat frame you might get better results so, so i guess that means it works it doesn't despawn how long does it take? I don't know, but we'll see. So that's how that all works. So we've got some plastic sheets, which is great. So I th the last thing we're going to do today, I'm going to move everything to over here. As you can see, there's a lot of mobs around here. <laughs> Funny. I've also got another enchant on my boots. It allows me to get those blocks. I have the um, multi-jump three. I put multi-jump three on this. So let's just get rid of this and some of these mobs i've attracted the enemy so i can be I should be able to beat him up two hits as you can see it's quite effective and easy to get out of the way of these guys just jump up and they can't do you any harm whatsoever like that but there are no witches around today so that's a bit of a shame in that case I got four ender pearls from that one plus one of these ender fragments which is pretty good from one from one mob now above me it's night time there may well be uh, fandoms around oh yeah so the last thing I want to do is I want to make a a charm belt reliquary that's the next thing that's actually really handy because once you've got one of these charms in it, it takes up your inventory and if you, as soon as you get all of the charms it takes up your inventory a lot so let's have a look at the recipe for this if I get it in the right place that's not working oh, not sure why let's get it rid of here and do that reliquary Well, liquid is filled with an eye, isn't it? So handy is the is the charm belt. Just wondering if I can see it if it's in this section because these are quite nicely sorted. You can see everything sort of grouped together, and that was one of the problems that I was having a little bit of a problem with it. This um, pneumatograph for pressurized because things aren't grouped together; they're all sort of randomly placed all over the place can't see it so that's a little belt there we go so for that you can use any of these fragments pig, pig fragments zombie creeper fragments anything you like and you can make this belt up so we need three pieces of leather plus five of these so let's have a look in here what we've got lots of I've got lots of bat wings I've got plenty of in fact I think I've got mostly um looking at this 
think we've got mostly these ones, haven't I? So let's move. Yes, I think we have. Not that many spider ones, quite a few zombie ones. There should be quite a few skeletons. These are the rib bones and pieces of skeletons. So we'll use the. Um, we'll use this one. So let's go to the. So we need a skeleton charm fragment. We need a creeper char creeper charm fragment. Jump fragment that one there. So let's get these up. So we need five of these. I'm not going to mess around this time. They, all, they almost all go into the same place anyway. They go mostly go into there, and the rest of them can just we can just put those back. So we've got five of these, and then we need three pieces of leather, which is actually in the same chest. I noticed. So let's take those up to there, and then we should be able to craft up the belt. So it's three across the top then it's just five in a boat formation and then we get the charm belt here what you do with this is you simply right click it and then you could have got slots so you can just simply shift click this one into there that gives you one slot and we make another one for example if you wanted to make the um spider one not that spiders are particularly dangerous they're not case spider just the ordinary spider one so we need to make five of these five of these charms six isn't it yeah, six for this then we should be able to make this charm like that and then when you open up the belt you can push this one in so you then get a third slot and you can keep doing this and i think the um cave spider one is actually almost a escape uh, yeah you need the spider cave spider charm fragments for this in fact they're actually the same except for you've got a potion of portion poison sorry <laughs> potion of potion so this one was the, this one was what was the difference between these two so you use spider bombs oh it's just a spider eye a spider eye it's no big deal so we could easily make this one up we do need some potions of po poison which is try try again get the right one so it's just spider eye or jellyfish i haven't actually got jellyfish but spider eye we got plenty so we would need two two crafting of that would give us six so which is what i'll probably do it in my off time as it were so that's it for this episode hope you've enjoyed it next time we shall carry on again with pneumatic craft repressurized uh, until then i wish you all the best bye for now